Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. Today we've got a really awesome video for you guys relating to Save the World, the release date of Save the World, and the whole entire change for the Save the World user interface and the game itself. So with Fortnite having such huge growth since around July 2017, and having the ability to buy the Founders Pack, we've noticed that the Save the World player count is so much lower than the Battle Royale player count, and that is because obviously, Save the World is a purchased DLC for the game. Or originally, that's what Fortnite actually was. Save the World, no Battle Royale. Now, Save the World by far is one of the best methods for gaining V-Bucks. I'll be remaking a video on that very soon for you guys, because there has been added in a few new ways and methods of gaining access to V-Bucks. So, don't worry guys, that will be coming for you very, very soon. Anyway, let's jump straight into this and talk about how Save the World is no longer going to be releasing this year in 2018. So Fortnite have said this, take a little listen to this video. After careful consideration, we've decided to delay the full free-to-play launch of Save the World out of 2018. Since the initial release of the game, we've added several new features and quality of life improvements, along with new events, heroes, and items. We still have more we'd like to do before going free. We want to make sure that all of our players, both old and new, have a great experience. So we'll be doing some technical and performance work in order to handle the scale of a full launch. So as you guys can see in that video, they talk about how Fortnite is no longer going to get released in 2018. And now we can predict that the release is going to be in 2019. So when about will Save the World actually pop for free for everyone? Well, Fortnite talk about how they want to make the game absolutely perfect. They've actually got a big huge article on it on their website which I'll link down below which talks about how they need to make it so the game is easy for every single player to jump in on old and new and it's basically really easy to understand. Save the World is a very complicated game at this moment in time. I've made several videos on it trying to explain to you guys the user interface and to be honest it is very complicated so that is what they're working on. They're trying to make Save the World as easy as Battle Royale so when they release Save the World for free a lot of players will jump straight onto it and understand all the mechanics. Now, there are other reasons behind it as well, which we'll dig deep into in a moment, but I want to announce this for you guys because it's pretty cool. The Save the World packages will be coming back to the store this week with 50% off for the standard, deluxe, super deluxe, and limited edition founders pack, which means you will be able to gain access to the gun, the Nocturno, for those that don't own it. So feel free to jump on that if you are interested in purchasing Save the World, which I highly recommend because you will gain access to a bunch of free V-Bucks, which you can use to spend in either Save the World or Battle Royale. Save the World itself is a huge V-Book grind method. Like It's ridiculous how many V-Books I've earned from that. I've probably earned over 12,000 V-Books now, maybe even more, just from Save the World. So please guys, do consider purchasing Save the World and using that to grind V-Books rather than spending that money on V-Books themselves. Save the World will cost you roughly about $25, I think it'll be when it's 50% off. I think it's about £20 in the UK, maybe 18 maybe 19 I don't know the exact price, but you can definitely gain access to to a lot of free V-Bucks, guys. So make sure you go and do that because honestly, it's absolutely amazing. And that's one major reason why personally, I believe Fortnite won't be releasing Save the World for free until they've sorted that out. Save the World has so many methods of getting access to V-Bucks, which I've got some videos on. I'm gonna work on a few more for you guys as well when this is obviously released so you guys can understand, especially when the Fortnite Mer event comes out, you guys are probably gonna be interested in getting some V-Bucks because you'll probably be jumping on Save the World. But like I was saying, Save the world, that is why they don't want Save the World to be free straight away because if Save the World was for free, then their V-Book sales would drop so much because of the amount of V-Books they actually give out and that's where they have to consider it and that's why they're still making changes to it and they're probably going to take out that V-Bucks from Save the World eventually when it becomes free. So they're making slight changes to it over time. So if you haven't already purchased Save the World, this week is going to be the time to purchase it because the 50% sale is dropping and I highly recommend purchasing it to gain access to so many free V-Bucks, guys. It's absolutely insane. So here are some screenshots of some of the new interfaces we're getting added into the game. It kind of reminds me of Overwatch a little bit here you can see with this one here this is the first one and there's the second one and it kind of shows you heroes survivors upgrades research account xp and to be honest that is such a better layout than it was previously now with these things it still is confusing what is what now people don't understand exactly how things work in save the world and it would be interesting for them to allow people to see that their survivors 
level them up. Without your survivors, your base won't actually level up, which is pretty interesting. But they've actually added in account level there, which to me is pretty cool as well, because your power is leveled up by your survivors in Save the World, but your account level, you can't actually see that from what I know in Save the World at this moment in time. So that's a very interesting concept, unless that's a Battle Royale concept. I need to read through this a little bit more to understand exactly what's going on there. Okay, so after myself reading a little bit more about this with the account level and stuff, it looks like they're completely changing the way the heroes are going to work in the game. They're now actually going to be having five slots. You pick your hero you're playing as, then you have five extra slots which are used to upgrade your current hero for your level, your power, your abilities and stuff. So that's pretty interesting. With the account level though, I haven't found any information regarding that just yet but they are going to be releasing a lot more information as the weeks like go by, so that's pretty cool. One thing to do note, guys, though, if you do have current weapons or invested maps into a game or a character that has been upgraded extremely and they do cause a change to it, they're gonna give you the option to dismantle this character and give every single XP that you've spent on it back to your inventory. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, simply you gain XP in Save the World that you can apply to your characters and you can level them up. And if they make a change to them, they're gonna give you the option to get a 100% refund there. Now, usually on Save the World, they don't allow you to get that 100% refund because that's just the way the game currently is. When you dismantle the character, it only gives you some of your XP back, quite a lot to be fair. You only lose like probably like about 12, 15%-ish, but now they're gonna give you a huge refund with it if you want to dismantle that character. But some people could be like, you know, I'll just keep it, it doesn't really matter. So that's gonna be really awesome. And also we've got two new heroes being added in this week that will be free if you play during the Four Nightmares event. So that's gonna be cool. The Four Nightmares is absolutely awesome. So to thank the founders, both new, if you both new and old, you'll log in and job if you play during Fortnite Wars, you'll receive the both brain I think it's Brainatic or Brain Attic, Jonesy and School Ranger. So that's gonna be cool. So Brain Ack, is it? I don't know how exactly you say that. Brain Ack? I don't know, Brain Ack maybe? Brain Ack Jonesy is gonna get released for free anyway, guys. So that's awesome. You can see them on screen right there now. I definitely recommend if you guys do own Save the World, getting access to them because they're pretty too well, they're really awesome skins. So you've got one there which looks like a soldier and maybe the zombie could be, is it gonna either be a soldier or maybe a ninja, I'm not too sure. Probably another soldier, but the ranger, Love Ranger does look like a soldier because she's got that grenade. But I'm buzzing to see what's gonna happen with Save the World. I've been someone that has been on and off Save the World. I've never fully sat down and grinded it, but I have played quite a bit of it to understand it like, and understand the ins and outs of it. You can see the gameplay in the background, which is pretty fun, but yeah. It's a really awesome game mode, and honestly, when they release this for free, a lot of people are going to be excited for it. So you guys are probably wondering, when is this going to release for free? Now, once they've added in all the changes, which they've said several months this is going to take, so they've said that it's going to take a while. So I reckon the release date of this will probably be an E3 release around August, maybe, just after, or maybe July again, like the original. So we can probably expect this game to release around July time, which will be absolutely awesome. So hopefully, Fortnite Battle Royale do consider something like that and re-release it at E3 with some new announcements. So if it, like, to be honest, this E3, I thought Fortnite personally messed up with it. They needed to push it a little bit deeper and a little bit more. I just felt like, you know, their game had a huge potential this free to announce something major. Their only announcement was Nintendo Switch version, which really wasn't worth going to E3 for. But the next E3, Fortnite have got an opportunity to announce something major. I personally wanted them to announce a brand new map or a brand new game mode or something like that. But Save the World upgrades and Save the World revamp and Save the World for free will be what we can expect in the upcoming announcements relating to Fortnite at potentially a games conference. And I think E3 would be a perfect, near enough, I don't even know. I think it would just be 100% must do for Fortnite for a great opportunity to release Save the World for free. Their original Save the World pitch at E3 really wasn't the best. I personally remember seeing it. I was sat here in my room checking out, like I think it was around Battlefield 1, to, oh no, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I was watching the Xbox conference, and I saw it appear, and I was like, it looks cool, this game, and I think I'll give it a try, but nothing where I want to spend £40, $50 plus on it. I don't really want to spend that on it originally. And then I thought, 
Battle Royale. Hold on a minute. I've seen all this PUBG hype on YouTube. So maybe if I try this, this could be pretty interesting. And it was only £20 at the time. Crowded it on a sale. So I think I spent like £18 or £19 on it on the Fortnite Founders Pack. I bought it and thought, whoa, this is something amazing. And then obviously, look where we are today. The growth on Fortnite has been insane. So they've got to make the right decisions. And to be honest, Epic Games have got to be probably one of my favorite developers out like 100% my favorite development team at this moment in time. Not overall, because obviously I've played so many games in the past. They are up there with the top two or three. I don't even know which one my top one would be. But Epic Games, you guys are amazing currently. You're my favorite development team out there. And everything they're doing is awesome. They have such a big team. They're employing people all the time. They've just got so many good like insights and ideas that are going to be coming to the future of Fortnite. So expect all that in the future. I really do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, do stick around for daily Fortnite content. If you haven't already supported me as a creator in Fortnite, I do recommend going to do that. And helping me out over there if you guys can. It would be awesome. If you guys have made it all the way to the end of this video, comment down below Ninja Jumping because that's the current character I'm playing as. I'm doing a lot of jumping. So, yeah, I'm playing as a ninja. Comment that down below. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. That's the little Easter egg for you guys if you've made it to the end of the video. And I'll see who has and who hasn't. And once again, this is Postbox Pat signing out.